of it. One, you trespass. Okay, so in order for me to do that, I have to have your name, okay? Yeah, that's not true. Uh, there's nothing in the, the NRS 207.200 that says anything about Nevada. giving your name. But you, you're is, trying bro. to kick me off. Hey, that's you what can't they, do that. That's what they I know, want. bud, that's but you know what them. I'm asking for. I'm just if asking for want, you to... I understand. If they come down and they want to handle that with you, can I help you? Yeah, I need to... Well, are you going to talk to me or through the door? I'm talking to you through the door. Okay, well, I need to uh, get public records from this office. You can put in the public records Right, that's what I'm trying to do with you guys. Correct. What's going on, Bay Fam? It's your boy, Bay Area Transparency. We're back at it once again. And for this video, we're in the state of Nevada. We went ahead and went to a public defender's office again. It always seems that the people who are in charge of protecting and fighting for our constitutional rights are the quickest ones to want to violate our constitutional rights. And I don't understand why that is. These people damn near wouldn't even come out and speak to me, but they sure will call the police on me. And the police are uneducated in our rights as well. They think they can just trespass anybody from anywhere like they do in Nevada. It doesn't work like that, officers out there. Learn our rights, respect our rights. That's what you're paid to do. Follow us on Facebook, Bay Area Transparency Official. Follow us on Instagram, at Bay Area Transparency. Subscribe, like, and share. Run it up, baby. B-A-T. And I'm out. Two oh two for the public defender's office. Let's go check them out. Must be that small. This is like a small. It's a it's a big area. That's not it. Oh dear. Oh, this is part of what I need. we need right there. Ooh, I don't want to get hit Hello? by that door. <laughs> How's it going? Are you here for an appointment? No, I don't need anything from you guys right now. Okay. Appreciate it. Hey, can I help you? No, I've been asked. Appreciate it, though. Can I ask what you're doing? Yeah, just taking pictures. Of our camera? Of anything I, I want to take pictures of, correct. Mm -hmm. Okay. Awesome. Awesomeness, that's all I need. All right, main office. We'll go to the main shot and we're good. <laughs> They immediately call the police on me, and this might be one of them coming. Maybe not. He doesn't look like he's stopping. Um, well, maybe he is. Maybe he's pulling in back here. They immediately call the police on me. Immediately call the police on me, and and don't even don't and nothing. Don't ask me to leave. So these are the people that, when you're exercising your rights, they don't defend your rights at all. Period. I think I, I think I see another one coming. Well, there's the sheriff. Like, why they call the sheriff, I have no clue. I'm not gonna run. I'm just gonna take some, some flicks from out here and then we'll go back in, have a conversation with the sheriff if they wanna speak to me, I guess. I don't know why they would. I assume they would just say, oh well, <laughs> so what? There's nothing we can do about it. Oh, it is what it is. Let me see. Is there another one? I thought I saw another one drive by. Well, let's see. This dude drove right by me in the front and didn't even stop to speak with me. I thought there was another one coming, but I guess not.
Oh, there's another one. Let's see, is he coming? Oh yeah, he sure is. Well, maybe this guy's just sitting in the car here. I don't know. Maybe he's sitting in the car waiting until his partner comes. I'm not sure. Maybe that's their protocol. But it is what it is to me. Oh, boy. Oh, no, he's not in the car. He's chilling out right here. How's it going? Good. Awesome. What are you doing today? Ah, uh, hanging out. How are you doing today? I'm doing well, sir. Awesome. Well, I'm WFTA Sheriff's Office. Cool. Deputy you got, McDonald. You got ID on you? Yeah, I do. Do you mind if I see it, please? Yeah, I do. So, I'm here for a call for service, okay? Uh-huh. They're saying that you're filming, which you... I'm not here to tell you you can't film. Okay. Okay. Cool. Um, Let me get off this thing before I fall off of it. One, you trespass. Okay, so in order for me to do that, I have to have your name, okay? Yeah, that's not true. Uh, there's nothing in the, the NRS 207.200 says anything you're about giving about your, your name. name. But yeah. also, they're a public office. Mm -hmm and they're open to the public okay. so like you said i can be here they right. can't really yeah. trespass me from going to a public office trying to figure out how to get public records okay. on top of that i haven't been asked to leave so in order to trespass somebody you kind of okay. need them to like not be able to be on the property you see what i'm saying, I get what you're saying. yeah it doesn't yeah. work like that okay so, so, so what are you doing today i don't answer questions but no no okay. well this isn't going to go anywhere, okay? I know, I know what you're doing, okay? I'm, I'm what you're uh, you doing anything wrong? Uh, well, exactly. So, okay. so in order to uh, ID somebody, what do you need out here? We're just having a simple conversation. Okay? No, 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 no. You just I asked you my me name, my. I asked for your name. <laughs> no, and you said we. In order to trespass you, I need your name. You have to give me your name when asked. Not true. So, so you have to have reasonable trespass, suspicion okay, so of a crime. No, no, you're not. Going you're going beyond your authority. Okay. You can't demand ID unless you have reasonable suspicion of a crime. You don't. You've clearly said it. That's it. It's a public office. So when you when you ask, yes, that's a consensual question. Okay. But when you say no out here, you have to give it because I need to try. That's that's different. That's now you're. You had to give it yes, I did not refer, absolutely. OK, it's on camera. Okay. Uh, what's so your in name? order for me to do that, I have to have your name. Okay. Yeah, that's not true. Uh, there's nothing in the, the NRS 207.200 says anything you about giving your name. Yeah, but yeah. also there are... Yes, absolutely. Okay, it's on camera. Okay. Uh, what's your name and badge number? Deputy McDonald, 5529. Awesome. Did, name, you, did you give me a badge number? I'm, I'm Deputy Ashley. Yeah. But did you give me a badge number? My badge number is 662. Okay, I didn't remember if you gave it to me or not. Okay. So, yeah. And what's your name so I don't go, hey, you, because that's just rude and disrespectful. Sir is good. Name. Sir is okay. good. Yeah, I'll refer to you as sir. You can okay. refer to me as sir. Well, okay. they don't want you on this property. Okay. This Again, we went over that. Public property. There are private businesses here. Correct. You are part of those or part of a doctor's office. The property manager does not want you on the property. I have access to that public office. Okay. Okay. I can go there, and I haven't even been able to. I didn't even know they had called you guys, but I haven't even been able to go ask for the records I need or anything like that. Okay. So well, once, well, let well, me, let me tell you, you let me tell, I don't answer those questions, but let okay, me tell you, you, let me, I, don't, I didn't ask you any questions, well, buddy. You no, I'm not. I'm, I'm, I'm making a statement. Me. I'm making oh, a statement. Okay. When the, when the, the, the property owner decided that he was going to rent this property out and it's in their lease agreement to a public entity and the state department of education, that property owner said, I will open up my property to the public at all times for Is these services. That we can help you with? Nope, besides going about, about your way, okay. yeah. Okay, they would like you to leave the property, that's all I'm saying. Again, so are you, okay, perfect. That, and sir, if I don't, like hey, let's go this route, let's go this route. I'll, I'll, I'll just layer by layer, like an onion, I'll peel away your qualified immunity. Sir, if I'm not going to leave, will you arrest me? Have a great day. That's what okay. I thought. Okay, bye-bye. <laughs> Holy this guy's smart. <laughs> he was like, nope, I'm not going to go there. Perfect. That, there we go. But you, you're trying to kick me off. Hey, you can't they, do that. That's what I know, want. bud, that's but you know what them. I'm asking for. I'm just if asking for wanna, you to, I understand. If they want to come down and they want to handle that with you, we'll handle, handle what? 
Handle if what? They want to trespass you off their property. That's what I'm saying. You can't. There's. Let's watch out for the car. They can't. They can't. Can no, they cannot. No, they can't. You better check the. You better check the laws before okay. you make a big mistake, bud. You too. So this is a common theme that they think they can trespass you from public offices. And they cannot trespass you from public offices. Our taxes pay so that we can use these services, so that we can get these records, so that we can check up on our, our public employees. They can't just say, oh, I don't like your camera, you're trespassed. Now, if I'm stopping business, standing there in front of the door, blocking people from entering, yes, they can trespass me. But just because I have a camera and a First Amendment right, no, they cannot trespass me. That is incorrect. And case law backs that up from the Supreme Court and the Ninth Circuit. So this guy is wrong. The other guy knew very well and said, I'm gone. But this guy wants to push the issue. He wants to keep pushing the issue. What issue am I pushing? I'm making a private phone call, sir. You are saying, oh, if they want you trespassed, you have to leave, da 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 No, 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 you just clearly said, if you clearly you are engaging with me you clearly said if they want you trespassed you have to leave and they can trespass you from the property and you are incorrect and i'm narrating for my camera and you are continually engaging with me so but i will do you a favor once i'm done getting my pu uh, asking for my public records i'll be on my way i'm not going to be here long but this is ridiculous protect my rights don't violate them It's, I'm just simply asking that they protect my rights, that they do their job the right way. And they're refusing. He's, he, this guy refuses to do their, his job the right way. He refuses to protect my rights. And I feel like he needs to protect them. He needs to tell these people, hey, no, he, we can't trespass him. He has a right to get these services. That's what I feel like he needs to do. Oh, lost it. Um... I feel like he needs to tell these people, no, I can't trespass him. He has a right to services. He has a right to this office. He, has, he pays for this office, okay? You can't trespass him off the property for, for no reason, for his camera. You just can't do that. And this guy, is, he's pushing the issue. This other gentleman, he said, yeah, you're, I'm gone. You know what I mean? I'm out of here. Right when I went to, okay, cool, let's take away your qualified immunity. Are you going to arrest me if I don't leave? Oh, have a good day, sir. So that's the bottom line. What they will do is they will, they will act like they're forcing you and they can force you to leave a public office and they cannot force you to leave a public office. So they will go as far, but once you say, once you say, if I don't leave, are you going to arrest me? And they say, yes, their qualified immunity is gone because they've already said, we understand you're not doing anything wrong. We understand you can record. We understand that you're, can't, you're not trespassing, right? Like you have a right to be here. We understand that, but they want you to leave. So you have to leave. So what they're trying to do is appease the people that work here instead of uh uphold my rights right and they should be upholding my rights instead of trying to appease these people he said i'll talk i'll talk to you later oh hey man thank you uh i appreciate it i don't know why he kept pushing the issue you seem like you got it pretty quick so i appreciate that i'm not here to call the way to you and that and that's what we want i, I was just trying to explain to him that all we want you to do is protect our rights. If hey, if you hey, would, hey. can I just say this to you and, I, and then I'm gone? Service, Real quick, half a millisecond. If you guys just protect our rights and tell them, hey, we can't trespass him from public property, we're good. You know what I mean? All right, take care of you two. And he don't want to listen, but one day he'll be educated. He needs to humble himself is what it is. Don't let the power go to your head, babe. So that is a clear buckle and bounce. Buckle and bounce so you know that's the thing and that's what needs to happen that was a quick one and now i'm going back in i'm gonna go back right in the building that was a clear buckle and bounce situation bay fam they cannot trespass you from a public office and that idiot mcdonald hey man they just said they don't want you here doesn't matter go tell them it's public so now in order to prove our point 
let's go ahead and go on back in and deal with the idiot public defenders who are paid to protect our rights that just tried to violate my rights. Let's go. Is there a bell to ring or something? Yeah, I need to, well, are you going to talk to me or through the door? I'm talking to you through the door. Okay, well, I need to uh, get public records from this office. You can put in a public records request. Right, that's what I'm trying to do with you guys, correct. You can send us an email or you can do it through the Department of Energy and Defense Services. Right, and I can do it orally or verbally at this office as well, or, or orally or written, as the law says. And for whom are you requesting public records? It doesn't matter for whom, I'm requesting public records. So if you guys could do your job and stop calling on uh, calling the police on me because I have a First Amendment right, that would be great. What kind of public records are you requesting so we know what to produce? Well, yeah, so do you guys want to write it down? Do you want me to write it down? Or I can give it to you or verbally, that's fine. If you could just let me know, sir. Okay. Well, yeah, I would like your name first and last, your salary, your work days, your work hours. I would like... The other gentleman who spoke to me's name, salary, work days, work hours. I would like to whoever called the police and I'll get the dispatch call to listen to you guys lie as well. Um, and I'm going to get their name first and last work days, work hours and salary as well. And then I would like a copy of your guys's recorded camera here for today from the moment I walked up until the moment I leave the door right now. Um, any email addresses that are pu from the public defender, I want a copy of all those email addresses. Any phone numbers that are paid for, any cell phones that are paid or phones that are paid for by our tax dollars from the public defender's office, I want those phone numbers. And I'm also going to request October's phone bill for those phone numbers as well as November's. Did you get all that? That's it for now, yeah. All right, just a moment, please. And I haven't been trespassed. The police had a conversation with me and they left. And you can't trespass me from public property trying to get put, or from a public office trying to get public records. We pay for you to have this office. So understand that. And the law says I can come get public records whenever I want to. These people, and you guys are supposed to be protecting our constitutional rights, and you guys are trying to trespass me because of my First Amendment? Matter of fact, I want everybody's name who's in that office right now. This is ridiculous, dude. Okay, I need to go use the restroom. Did you guys get my public records request taken down or not? These guys are idiots. I'm yelling. She said I'm yelling about using the restroom. You guys are talking to me through a door. I have to make sure you can hear me, and I'm trying to leave. I don't want to be here any longer. That's why I was trying to leave in the first place till I seen the police show up. Sir? Yeah? Since we are an agency of Carson City, your public records request must be made through the city's office. You can go down to City Hall and make that. That's not true. The onus is on you to get it to them, and then I will come back in five days and pick it up. I can make it in any office, and since it's for this office, I can make it here. 
So the onus is on you to forward it to who you need to. As the law states, I'll be back in five days to get it. And I want every name of the person who's working in this office right now that's present today as well. First and last. Because you guys are ignorant. You guys got my public records request. It's on camera. Have a good day. Ridiculous, dude. Supposed to protect our constitutional rights. Instead, they're trying to violate them because I have a camera. You guys don't deserve to work for us. He's back, he's back, oh no shit. Yeah. Just seeing if you horrible people learned your lesson yet. There's a big old gap under the door. Well, I made it with you and that's date starts today. It really doesn't matter what you requested. Well, it's not a policy, it's a law. Other than that, I don't care. Working on a story, I'm busy. You guys can go ahead and get back to work. You work for us, we don't work for you. And the law says we can give it anywhere. Your policy don't mean anything. Straight trash.